I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about COVID and men's reproductive health. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. I'm a double board certified reproductive endocrinologist helping people build their families for over 15 years. And the last few years, we have been deep in a pandemic and deep into misunderstandings and trying to navigate family building during this COVID pandemic. In the beginning, we didn't even know what the virus was. We didn't know how it spread. We were in the middle of quarantine. People were putting their family building on hold. Fertility treatment stopped for a little while until we could figure out exactly how to give medical care in a safe way. I want to answer your questions and give you the evidence surrounding men's reproductive health in the setting of a COVID infection, as well as the COVID vaccine. COVID and its impact on fertility and the use of the vaccine to prevent severe disease has been in the news and all over social media, but it's been very female focused. Just like everything that has to do with fertility and miscarriage, we focus on women. You know, if anything goes wrong with family building, it's got to be the woman's fault. But men matter in this. They're half of the genetic equation. They're trying to build their families too. And there's lots of questions about what happens when someone gets uh, infected from COVID and they have uh, symptoms. Does it impact sperm counts? What about the COVID vaccine? Does that impair sperm counts? There's so many questions in the beginning. It was so hard to help people because we were trying to learn together, but now we have data to share and I hope that this helps answer a lot of your questions. So there are many viruses out there that do impact male fertility and male hormones and sperm parameters. The SARS-CoV-2 virus is a single-stranded RNA virus from the coronavirus subfamily. There are other single-stranded RNA viruses that you have heard of that we know impact male reproductive health mumps, HIV, and Zika. Mumps is a single-stranded virus that 20 to 30 percent of men who are infected will get orchitis or inflammation of the scrotum. And some of those men will go on to have decreased sperm counts and significantly impacted fertility later in life. HIV is a virus that can lead to altered male hormone levels, including lower testosterone and can dramatically change and deplete sperm parameters. Zika is another virus. It's relatively new. We're still learning a lot about it, but it can be found in semen for up to 180 days after symptoms have resolved. We started seeing in the beginning that there were some men that were getting some unusual presentations of COVID. So typical symptoms for a COVID infection that you think of are fevers, body aches, sore throat, loss of smell or taste, sometimes GI side effects like diarrhea, but some men have presented with scrotal pain or testicular pain and tested positive for COVID. Some of the first case reports came out in the summer of 2020, one by Bridwell and colleagues from in the American Journal of Emergency Medicine talked about cases that presented like this. We started to learn early on that there's some vascular consequences for a COVID infection. Some people were getting blood clots. Well, some men were having vascular complications such as erectile dysfunction and ejaculatory dysfunction after and during their COVID infections. I honestly was made aware of this by watching SNL back in 2021, I think, where Michael Che was giving a news update talking about how some men were not able to have intercourse as after their COVID infection, and maybe this would encourage people to get their COVID vaccine. So I read the studies and there, it was not just a joke on SNL, this is actually true. So knowing that other viruses that impact male reproduction and male fertility, it makes sense that we should pay attention to this for COVID. There are studies that show in post-mortem autopsies, the presence of the coronavirus in testicles. And we have seen lower sperm counts after and during a coronavirus infection. This is not uncommon. A lot of viral infections or fevers or recovery from illness will temporarily lower sperm counts. Sperm is on a three month cycle. So basically when you have an ejaculate, you've been working on that sperm for about three months. So if you have a high fever and you're fighting a significant infection for the next two or three months, you're probably going to have lower sperm counts than you would once you've recovered. And we do see this with COVID. In one study that came was published in 2020 by Haltman et al. in Fertility and Sterility, which is the Journal of the American Society of Reproductive Medicine, they looked at a total of 32 men, 14 did not have COVID, 
and 18 had COVID, 14 had mild symptoms, and four had moderate symptoms, and they compared sperm parameters. And after a COVID infection in the recovery period, the men who had COVID had lower sperm counts and lower motility and poor sperm parameters, but it eventually recovered. Another study out of China by Guo et al. published in 2021 in the Asian Journal of Andrology studied 41 men and their exposure to COVID, their symptoms and sperm parameters and recovery. And they also showed a temporary impact and lowering of sperm counts in the recovery phase of a COVID infection for most of the men that were studied and that recovered over time. So it seems like, and it makes sense that a viral infection will temporarily impact sperm's production but that as we recover, it will come back. So let's recap what we know about a COVID infection and male reproduction. So as we know, presentation of COVID varies for people, um, symptoms vary for people, and severity of disease varies for people, but there are some men that will present with COVID and testicular pain. There are some men that have vascular issues and blood clots and erectile dysfunction and um, ejaculation dysfunction from a COVID infection. There are some men that will have temporary changes in their testosterone levels and other hormone levels, as well as temporary changes of their sperm parameters as they recover from a COVID infection. So it's important to know COVID does impact male reproduction. Well, then what about the vaccine? We know that the vaccine has been the best treatment to decrease the impact of this pandemic on us. So my patients that are struggling to build their family and they're trying their best to do everything that they can to make sure their fertility is primed should avoid getting COVID, right? And that's great, but sometimes you just cannot actually live in a bubble. So then the next question is, well, should they get the vaccine? We know the COVID vaccine will decrease the risk of severe disease from COVID. It'll decrease the risk of hospitalization and ICU admission. It'll decrease the risk of death from COVID. These are all really positive things, but those severe things do happen to a few number of people. And when you are trying to have a baby, you're trying to decide whether to get the vaccine, you want some more data to feel reassured that this is the right thing for you and your family. And there are studies that are reassuring as far as the COVID vaccine and male reproduction. There's a wonderful study out of Miami. It was published in JAMA in 2021. This is a prospective study. It took 45 men who were planning to get vaccinated. They did a semen analysis before they got vaccinated and they got did another semen analysis 70 days after the, they were fully vaccinated and sperm parameters, count, motility, morphology were compared and everything stayed the same. And the great thing about this study is you're comparing the same people before and after an intervention and getting the vaccine did not change sperm parameters. Another interesting way to look at this was a study by Barda et al. in the International Journal of Gynecology and Obstetrics published in 2022 looked at multiple sperm samples in the sperm donor population. So they took 33 men who were donating their sperm and they took about 400 sperm samples before these 33 men got vaccinated compared to 400 samples after the men got vaccinated and compared sperm count, motility, morphology, all the parameters, and they were the same. And so this is another way and it's powerful because it's a lot of samples to look at before and after an intervention in the same people and see that there was no impact. So let's recap. Coronavirus infection for male reproductive health. Getting infected with COVID can have implications. Everybody is gonna have a different reaction, but there are some men that can get erectile dysfunction, ejaculatory dysfunction, changes in hormone levels, and lower sperm counts. And it seems like these things recover over time, which is wonderful, but it's important to realize we're still learning about this and it's reassuring that these impacts for the studies that I've reviewed are temporary, but it can impact male reproductive health, even if temporary. COVID vaccine, we know will decrease risk for severity of disease, hospitalization, deaths from COVID, and it does not change sperm parameters or impact male reproductive health from the studies that we've seen. 
I hope this video is helpful. There's still so much to learn about COVID and we are navigating this together. Like this video if you learned something, comment with questions that you have, subscribe to this channel to learn more and stick around for more videos. Thank you.